Okay, well, uh, let's get to Media Watch for you now. Nick Rushworth is here with me in the studio. And, Nick, you've got more Brexit drama for us, haven't you? Ongoing, and it will go on. Never Laura, ending, isn't never it? Never ending. <laughs> Possibly even after the 29th of March. Let's go straight away to a tweet from Jeremy Corbyn, who's been sent to stage the last few hours. Um, he is the leader of the Labour Party, and he definitely wants a general election now. That's screaming at you from that tweet. And he was saying it there... The Brexit defeat last night for Theresa May was the largest of any government in British history, which we know. Um, it's unprecedented. We need an election to break the deadlock. But as we know, um, that vote has not gone in his favour. It's gone along party lines. Now, in the uh, debating in the afternoon, actually, he talked about um, a Frankenstein Brexit deal and a zombie government, which, of course, in the Twitter sphere, prompted the immediate predictable response. She's been called a robot, now she's been called a zombie. Yeah, absolutely. So I, here, here is uh, one of the, uh, the, the cartoons tweeted yeah. in the <laughs> afternoon. There you can see Corbyn, Kirk Corbyn urges end of zombie government. And um, I looked at the picture, I thought, yes, yes, that looks familiar. That's what's going on. <laughs> <That's the truth. laughs> so uh, Theresa May in trouble, of course, as is Jeremy Corbyn um, at, at the head of the Labour Party with, of course, that vote not working for him. You've got to feel for Theresa May a little bit. I mean, she basically had to sit in Parliament all day today and uh, take abuse from all sides. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't. Um, OK, well, uh, in the Labour Party, the, you know, a lot of MPs, they do want some kind of vote, but not necessarily a general election. They would rather have a, a people's vote or a Indi second referendum. Yeah, indeed. Let's go to one of the British papers here, uh, the Business Insider, talking about more Labour MPs joining the campaign to force Corbyn to back a new Brexit referendum. Now, of course, his strategy has been to go for this general election. That's not going to work. The only way we can have a general election now is if Theresa May calls one herself. Now, um, Unlikely. Yes, that's just not going to happen, is it? So um, Corbyn there is really now under pressure to switch tack, to change towards this whole people's vote approach. So that's something to look out for in the coming days. Um, but also what we've got, I, I, what I noticed in, in, in uh, Parliament this afternoon was also this whole question of his of the Labour Party's credibility. Have they been able to milk this for all it's worth against a government, which is a shambles? Um, no, is the answer. Nigel Dodds, who's the deputy leader of the DUP, the Democratic Unionist Party, he's very influential in this political equation. And there, um, the one of the retweets, he's applying that even Labour MPs asked the DUP to ensure that uh, Corbyn did not get the general election he wants. So uh, the dynamics and equations of the uh, political situation in Parliament, um, well, multi-tiered, multi really. Um, let me go to um, this, just this next story, to move on, uh, Laura, mm -hmm. um, just about if the people cannot decide and the Parliament cannot decide, maybe the bookies will give us a clue and there you can see in that headline there, Market Watch, saying that um, the odds, there's been quite a lot of, uh, of ah. uh, betting going on the last yeah. 24 hours. Um, betting odds uh, strongly. Never going to happen. Yes. This whole. The, well, this with the Europeans saying that they're happy to kick it down the road until 2020. Yes, and that in that article by, the by Market Watch, the date that came up, even 2022, this never-ending drama um, Gosh, go, sure go, going on. It. Yes, well, the quote there, the betting odds on a delay, um, this is obviously to do with Article 50 and uh, that 29th of March date, have surged from 33%, which is one in three, to 80% uh, compared to um, vote, um, betting in, uh, New Year, in New Year's Eve. So um, really that... Uh, pointing ever more to um, a dramatic uh, no deal. The odds seem to be 20% on that, but possibly no Brexit at all seems to be more and higher in the equation. And over in the United States, which, of course, is having its, its own problems, the government shut down for 24 days now, uh, but the New York Times says that Britain could need a miracle. Well, yeah, this is an opinion piece in uh, the Times from the Times of London, uh, actually. Here you can see that piece, Britain uh, in Search of a Miracle, and it's actually uh, Jenny Russell, the columnist, um, slamming Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn for basically lacking any term, any kind of um, statesmanship. Um, the, um, how can you have... A positive outcome to this, and the quote here is, when both the Prime Minister and the leader of the British opposition are known for being cautious, obstinate, unimaginative, tribal and charmless. Oh, nice. So um, <laughs> the, the call there is for serious uh, statesmanship um, in, in, uh, in, in just in, in, in Britain, which of course implies 
with a weak Macron and Angela Merkel now a lame duck, that, a lame duck, that, that, that there has to be some kind of um, movement in Europe to establish leadership. Let's go to just uh, a few cartoons out there. Um, satisfied with your Brexit now, you Brits? <laughs> you can see that falling off the cliff metaphor um, quite strong. Actually, we're no longer falling off the cliff. We're actually um, 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 dead and buried underwater. And just want to go there, um, just this one there. Um, Theresa May, as you said, poor uh, woman, <laughs> to quote Jeremy <laughs> Kevin, or not. Yeah. I've seen worse situations as this. And I've survived. I just can't think of any at the moment. So there you go. Brexit well, fiasco rolls on. She staggers on for another day, doesn't she? All right, Nick, thank you very much indeed. Nick Rushworth there. Now,